Australian automotive manufacturing is not dead. It still lives on in a smaller and specialised form. One example is here. I'm at Premcar, which is in the Melbourne suburb of Epping. And there's 40 people here turning Nissan Navara Entrex into Entrex Warriors. Premcar has invited Car Advice here today to see what goes into that process. And they've even invited us to get on the tools in the process line. Let's go see what's involved. Behind me here is a Nissan Navara Entrek, just a normal one. And we're going to be following this one through the production line, all the way through to the end, and a final test drive. It's not going to stay like this for long. Wheels and tyres are gone, suspension will be gone as well. Getting rid of this front clip, putting on a bull bar and a bash plate. All that good stuff that turns an Entrek into a Warrior. The team of 40 are able to convert between 10 and 15 Warriors per day, with each stage lasting around 34 minutes. The whole process adds $6,500 to the asking price of a Navara Entrek. That's new suspension, wheels and tyres, protection and decals being the big ticket changes. Just pulling the front suspension out of this Navara and it's a really good way to show you the difference in components that they're installing into this Warrior. This is the original part here, you can see the thickness of the shock absorber. Much bigger here, it's a bigger shock, more oil. This is a different spring as well, and that's been tuned for this Warrior in terms of the weight, the wheels, the tyres, and all that handling improvement that you get. Good stuff. Let's chuck it in. Just watch these guys fit up the bull bar here, and I've got to say, they work really quickly, but also very accurately. You see this bracket here on the front here that they use to put the bull bar onto the car. There's actually got a lot of levels on there to try and get the alignment of the bar compared to the body as accurate as they can. And it's down to millimetre tolerances and they do it really quickly. Very impressive. My turn on the tools and I have to say it's really nice working with quality tools in such a clean workspace. Cordless drivers make short work of anything needing loosening or tightening and final torquing is done before each bolt is marked off. Although efficiency is very important to keep the production line smooth and on time, safety is also paramount. There's no heavy lifting or awkward angles to worry about. And don't forget about protective clothing. Check out my cool hard hat. Just watch the guys in station one install the new rear suspension into the Navara. And I've got the old bits here and the new bits just to show the difference. That's the new shock absorber, 35 mil piston, much bigger than the old one. You can see just the physical size there. And when it comes to suspension for a four wheel drive, the general rule is bigger is better. The coil springs are a little bit bigger as well. They've got a slightly taller freestanding height. But the important thing to note here is that it's still progressive rate. This first rate here, which is the comfort side of the spring, is a bit softer in the Warrior. While this second rate here, which hardens as the spring compresses, that gets even firmer. So, still got a good payload, and you still got the three and a half ton towing capacity, which is cool. But after driving this thing, seeing how this stuff works on the road, it's impressive gear. These are the wheels and tyres that come off a Nissan Navara Entrex. So that's an 18 inch alloy wheel and a Toyo open country, that's a sort of all-terrain, highway terrain tyre. Nothing too special, but over here, the wheels and tyres that they put on the Warrior. And just for the visual reference, because you can only get the best idea when you show them next to each other, look at the difference in diameter and also width. And you'll see the tread pattern here, much bigger voids through the middle, that's much better for off-road. Although, these are still a pretty good tyre on-road. I would prefer to drive the Warrior day-to-day -day driving that sort of thing, definitely over the Entrek. Here it is, the finished product. This one's off the production line and is ready to go for a run around the block. They're looking for a few things to make sure that suspension's all working, no noises and creaks, steering's all good, and also calibration of the speedo because they've got to change it for the taller tyres. Otherwise, I think this thing looks fantastic and in my experience, they drive really well also. Because I've worked on this one, I'm just hoping it's not going to fall apart halfway around the block. This is a great opportunity to see the kind of work that goes into a special edition ute like the Navara Warrior. If you're keen to see the Warrior in action, check out my three-way off-road comparison between it, the Ford Ranger Raptor and the HSV Sports Cat. Or if you want to know more about the suspension tune of the Warrior, check out the video of the development mule that we drove before the Warrior was released.